There's now two House Republicans who are saying they will support a motion to vacate to oust Johnson. Your caucus could hold his fate in your hands. How would you handle a motion to vacate? Uh, we, we don't like the chaos and the dysfunction. Um, we've been down this road before. Um, believe me, I mean, I, I provided a, a lion's share of those nomination speeches. I'm not itching to do that uh, anymore. Um, but we want this place to work. Uh, we, want, we want to see uh, aid to Israel, Ukraine, humanitarian assistance, and defend our based on uh, priorities. Uh, that's what we're focused on right now. We can't control the theatrics of Marjorie Taylor Greene and the House Republican Conference, um, but we stand willing to work with anyone who wants to deliver on that help and support. Um, on that same question, is there a world where, I know this might have sounded strange 10 years ago, but is there a world where if there's a motion to vacate triggered and the votes work out so that Hakeem Jeffries could become speaker, that you all think it would be good to have a Democratic speaker even with a technical Republican majority? Uh, look, I, I think, um, I feel very confident speaking for the Democratic caucus that uh, we want Hakeem Jeffries to be speaker. Whether that happens uh, in this calendar year or in January, uh, that's the uh, that's the focus. Mathematically, it's it's possible, um, but right now we're just focused on on this week ahead and ensuring that we provide uh, the important support to, to Israel, Ukraine, uh, humanitarian assistance for that region, uh, as well as uh, priorities in the Pacific. So that's that's the focus and the goal. But um, obviously, from a math perspective, um, we can't rule that out. It's nothing that we're spending a lot of time on right now.